What's going on guys? Cody here from Ginger Fishing back at it again with another video. In today's video we're going to be fishing uh, another one of my favorite ponds. This is this is in the quarry. So uh, can't wait to go be fishing there. I'll be fishing there in a couple minutes right now. Um, I actually recorded an intro yesterday but the lighting was all bad so I'm going to be redoing it right now. But uh, I just want to say, uh, I just want to give a huge thanks to everyone from Bass Next for uh, giving me the sponsorship and giving me a chance to show off this great lure that you can see. These are going to be the lures I'm going to be using today. Got a 3.5 inch shaker in a green uh, pumpkin purple color. And it's like a green, it's green pumpkin, but it's got like purple dots on it. And uh, I'm going to be using that on a drop shot. And uh, it comes in different colors. You see this is more like a brownish color. The same, with the same purple on it. Um, this is this is just a green pumpkin right here. But what I'm going to be using this for, this is this is the 5 inch one. If I start catching like a lot of like like little dink bass on the uh, on these ones on the little ones, I'm gonna switch it up. Thirties on there and try to catch a giant. Um, you see, this is the rod I'm gonna be using today. Rod of choice. This is a thirteen creed fishing rod. Uh, thirteen creed reel, one eighth ounce weight. Just lead weight because uh, I think the other ones are expensive and overrated, but uh. Octopus hook, got 10 pound mono on here. You can see you get the 3.5 shaker. Um, what I like about this, as you can see, the tail on it, it it's like a twitch. It, it twitches, you twitch it. And when you're drop shot, all you're doing is just twitch, twitch, twitch. So it gives that erratic action, and uh, fish just want to eat that. Next up, we got the. Uh, this is this is this is actually I didn't show this, but this is this is a. Uh, this is like a yum dinger. Quality on this, way better, way more durable. As you can see. Like a greenish, greenish red color. I forget what the color Watermelon red, that's what the color is called. I'm gonna be using them. These are five inch ones, and five inch worms uh, tend to catch a, a lot of big fish. Most of my big fish have been coming off of uh, five inch uh, worms, like that. And uh, see, so yeah, I'm using a, a, a Lose Mach 2 speed, speed Stick. This is a seven foot medium heavy. Um, I got it, which is an Akuma uh, Stratus reel. Not 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 too much of expensive reel, but it, it'll definitely get the job done. You get just a just a regular worm hook, and we got a uh, ten pound ten pound fluorocarbon on this one. And the last one, and the last thing I'm gonna be fishing today with, I get that stay up. It's a Black Max. It was seven foot, but rod tip broke. I had to trim it, so now it's a, about a six foot ten, six foot nine. And uh, just putting a little top water frog on. Um, we're gonna be fishing some mats if they're still there. I don't know if they're still there or not. I'm gonna be throwing these over mats. I know the bass just come up and hammer whatever is on top of the mats. And uh, so you see, this isn't a popping frog. It's just a regular like walking frog. So it's just gonna be perfect for that uh, top of the mat fishing. But uh, I'll get back to you guys when I'm on the water. I'm gonna be catching some fish. So uh, I can't wait to show off these uh, these new lures I got. For my uh, new sponsorship, Bass Next, I'll leave the uh, link to their page down below in the description. But uh, I'll see you guys when I start catching the fish. Whatever. I'll catch a fish and then do it. Oh yeah, I know. Oh no, I'm definitely gonna have to do it because it's jacking. I think I had a fish one too. I do. Oh, got off, thank god. Yeah, I'm jacked again. I'm sorry about that, guys. I just had a huge rod uh, malfunction. So let's get back fishing. It's just not happening today. Drop try isn't working. Maybe the Ned Rig will work. I'll give that a shot. Clearly, nothing seems to be working. Literally nothing. Oh, nothing. Oh, that's a fish. That's a that's a good one. 
I think. Or it's just covered in seaweed. Yeah, it's just covered in seaweed. There we go. Oh, he's not bad. He's a two-pounder. There we go. <laughs> All right, fish. Thanks. He's a he's uh he's probably almost two. There we go. It's not a bad one. I didn't even I was hating. I wasn't catching any fish. It's just not my day today. But clearly, I just got a pound and a half. He's pushing two. Let's let him go. There we go on that bass next uh, shaker, three and a half inch. Not too bad. First catch on a shaker, it's a two pounder. You know what? I'll take that all day. I'm, I'm starting to really dig this one, especially on that drop shot. Uh, wasn't getting on earlier. I think it was just in the wrong spot, but now I'm in the right spot and I'm doing good. So, uh, really, really love this Bass Nax 3.5 inch shaker. This is in a green, uh, green pumpkin purple color. fish or no? I don't know. That's a fish. There we go. Ugh. There's another one on this little shaker. Didn't know it was a fish. It was stuck in the weeds. There we go. Another one on it. If there's one, there's, there's got to be two. Let's see if we get pull enough. There we go. Fish on. Third one. Looks like a crappy. Oh, big crappy. There we go. Big slab. Yeah, it's, no, it's a crappy. Go on that three and a half inch shaker. It's been doing the doing the getting the job done. There he goes. A storm swim bait. There we go. There's one. Small. Dump. <laughs> a little one, holy crap. Look at, what is this? About a neat inch right here. Really, really small bass. We gotta up the size. Switch. Instead of having a drop shot, put a Ned rig on. Um, one eighth ounce. Jig head, and uh, let's see what we can do with it. There we go, fish on. There we go. What is that? Why is it? Oh my goodness, yeah. Why did it fight like that? It's a little guy. He's just like, I think I just ripped him out the water, like like an animal. Oh man. There we go on this three inch, three and a half inch shaker again. Second crap of the day, a little more of a downgrade. But oh, look at look at this guy. More of a downgrade, but oh, get out of here. There it goes. But uh, it's something. It's something. Definitely. These uh, shakers are definitely coming in clutch. And uh, like I said, that was not on the drop shot. It's still on the Ned rig this time. So uh, let's get back at it. I think I got one. I think so. Well, see, he got stuck on weeds, but I got one, I think. What the heck? 
Now I got one. There he's he's out. I got him. I think. I know. I know. It's sucking seaweed. Yeah. See, there he is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a crappy kind of day. You see this? Look at this. It's stuck in this. This is like literally three, like two pounds of stuff. And we just got this little crappy out of it. Again, on that the shaker. There we go. That's number six on the day. Not too bad. Oh, there we go. He hit it, following it up. No way. Oh, he got off. No. That was pretty cool, though. All right. There we go. There's one. Don't know what it is. Hopefully it's a bass. But if it's crappy, it's probably a nice one. No. Oh, come on. You had to get stuck in there. It's a bass. Little bass. Stuck in them weeds. There we go. What is this? I don't even know. Don't even know what this thing is. This is like seven inches. Oh man. Let him go. Get out of here. Little bass man. The thing I gotta say about these lures is I'm very, very, very impressed. These lures are super durable. I've caught all my fish on this same lure. The same one. Nothing's ripped, nothing's teared. I threw it on a drop shot. Doesn't doesn't make a difference. It's just really good, good quality board. Love using this, man. See, it's got a bite. Got some seaweed now. I might throw in a fluke. There's one. See, that's exactly what I was talking about. And there he goes. There's number eight. What's going on guys, Cody here. I'm like, just got done fishing. I'm just waiting to uh, get that ride home. Um, productive day. I didn't get the goal I wanted, I didn't get 10 fish, but I did get seven. Landed a two pounder, probably a 15 inch crappy. Uh, so I think that's a pretty good day. I'm just worn out right now. I got practice in t less than two hours. So I'm just gonna call it, call it, call it a day here. Um, the bass snacks uh, shakers are definitely coming in clutch today. I caught every single fish. Uh, th those are a three and a half inch uh, shakers, green pumpkin and purple. Um, like I said, I'll leave a link uh, to their uh, wet store in the description. Um, I just wanted to say um, I might be fishing here soon. I don't know. I gotta get back on like real water. I haven't been going yet, but I, had, I gotta get back on like I want to go fish a lake. I actually am fishing for it next weekend though at uh, Ash, Ashby Pink Lake, uh, so I'll be there. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.